All right, welcome back guys. So this is the second part of 3.2. In 3.2, we're gonna focus on uh, whether or not lines are parallel and perpendicular based on their slopes, okay? Their slopes are gonna tell us that. Remember, parallel lines will run together like, wait, hold on, let me see if I can do it with my arms. Ah, you're laughing at them, they're so short, Never mind. Parallel lines, they look like this. They run next to each other with never ever touching, they'll never intersect, and they're on the same plane. Perpendicular lines intersect at a 90 degree angle, right? Remember that? Now, parallel lines, um, instead of writing out the word parallel, I'll typically use the symbol for parallel, which is that right there. And then uh, perpendicular arms, <laughs> I said arms, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Perpendicular lines uh, intersect at a 90 degree angle. Okay, there we go. Parallel or perpendicular. Now, parallel lines for any, from an equation, their slope would be the same. Or from a graph, too, they would have the same slope, rise or run. We're going to focus on the equations when we're looking at this. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals, okay? Opposite reciprocals um, meaning you flip it and change the sign. So, I'm gonna pause it at some point so that we can play opposite reciprocal speed drill. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, but just to give you an idea what opposite reciprocals are. So the opposite reciprocal of two, if I was to flip two and change the sign, the opposite reciprocal would be negative one half. Um, the opposite reciprocal of uh, negative three would be positive one third. The opposite reciprocal of one-fifth would be negative five. Okay, here's a neat one, here's a neat one. All right, if a slope has, if a line has a slope of zero, it's horizontal, right? All right, this is, I love this. Well, if you flip zero, let's say zero is, how um, many is one, you have zero over one. Well, if you flip zero and make it opposite reciprocal, you have one over zero, negative one over zero, well, this is a horizontal line. And what is perpendicular to a horizontal line? An undefined slope with zero in the denominator of vertical line. Isn't that neat? I like it. All right. So, and I want to introduce to you also slope intercept form. You remember this, y equals mx plus b, because we're gonna use this form from equations to identify the slope and determine their relationship. Um, when you have slope intercept form, the number, whatever the number is in front of the X, that's your slope. That tells you how steep the line is, if it goes uphill or downhill. And we're going to use that today to find out if two lines are uh, parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Okay. Got that? All right, let's go. Let's just do a few examples. All right. You can come in, I'm just recording, you're fine. Let's try two y plus three x equals negative six. And let's try the other one to be two x plus three y equals negative six. So for both of these, we're going to solve for y, uh, and we're going to find out what the slope is, and we're going to compare the relationships and see what kind of lines they are. So for this one first, I'm going to minus 3x, minus 3x, and then I get 2y equals negative 3x minus 6, and then I'll divide by 2 and y equals negative three over two x, negative six divided by two is minus three. So my slope for this one is negative three over two. All right, let's try this one. To get y by itself, remember we did, this is a literal equation, we did this in the unit two, uh, where we solve for a specified variable, but here we're solving for y. So minus 2x minus 2x. So 3y equals 
is negative 2x minus 6, divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. So m, m equals negative 2 thirds. What do you think? They are reciprocals. Are they opposite? They're not. They're definitely not the same. So they're not parallel. And they're not opposite reciprocals. Therefore, these two lines are neither parallel or perpendicular. Okay, it doesn't satisfy both conditions. So let's try this one more. Uh, is anyone disappointed? I know I kind of wanted it to be one of the two and it wasn't, but that's okay. Hopefully you're not too disappointed. Let's try this one. 3x plus 5y equals 6. 5x minus 3y equals 2. All right. Solve for y. Minus 3x minus 3x. 5y equals negative 3x plus 6. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. Divide by 5 y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 6 fifths. Now let's get this one. Solve for y. Minus 5x minus 5x. Negative 3y equals negative 5x plus 2. Divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. And y, I'm sorry. Yeah, y equals Let's see, a negative divided by negative is a positive. 5 thirds x minus 2 thirds. So here, m equals negative 3 fifths. And here, m equals 5 thirds. So the difference this time is they're both reciprocals and they're both opposite signs. So these ones are opposite reciprocals. So the lines are perpendicular okay thank you so much thank you for watching 3.2 i hope you like it as much as i did uh finish the math excel 3.3 next thank you very much